This is V Premiere to edit your green screen video. Uh, I already have the program open, but in case you don't know how to open it, you would go down here to your bottom, click, type in Adobe Premiere, and open the application. And on the home screen, you want to go ahead and select Video Editor. Then you will be at this screen where I'm at right now. So before you start the editing process, you need to go ahead and have your video made, as well as have a background video or background image selected. So we're going to begin by adding our media. I'm going to go over here to Files and Folders. I've saved mine on my desktop just to make it easier to find. So the first thing we're going to put in is actually the background image or the background video. So I found this nice island image that I'm going to use for my background. I'm going to go ahead and open it and then drop it into video one. Because this is not a video, it's just a still image. It's actually kind of a really small thing. And so we, what we want to do is stretch it out to make it a little bit longer so it remains in the background the whole time that my video is playing. Okay, then I also need to get my video. So back to files and folders, desktop, and then here's my video that I'm gonna add. Okay, and then we wanna drag it down to video two. Alright, at this point, then we need to go ahead and add um, our effect to get rid of the green screen background. So over here on the right hand side, we're going to click on the FX button. This is your effects button. And in this little magnifying search thing, we're going to type in chroma key, C-H-R-O-M-A. And then we're going to drag that on top of your green screen video. This is going to allow us to get rid of the background. So then you're going to see there's a little eyedropper right here. You want to click on the eyedropper, and then you're going to click on the screen. Uh, because my background image, the island image, actually has a lot of greens in it, you can see it's not making it perfectly clear. So you have all of these different little buttons down here that you can do some blending to try to make the background a little bit crisper, a little bit better. Actually, that's quite, that's pretty good. You can see I still have a little slight green outline behind me. Um, we're not professional editors, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to clean that up. Uh, but you could spend some more time kind of messing with all of these settings to try to make it look nicer. Okay, one thing I am noticing is you can see that my background image is not the same height as my video image. So what I want to do is try to select just the video image here. And I want to try to make the video image a little bit bigger. So I actually had to make myself smaller because I was in front of this background image. And now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by dragging it. And then I can go back, click off of this, and then click back on here and make myself. So essentially when you do this, you're creating layers. I'm on the front layer, my video is on the front layer, and the background image is the second layer. So we want to, I had to make myself smaller so I could actually get to the background image. Okay, so now I've cleaned it up a little bit, and it looks pretty good. Um, and once you're happy with it, then you can go up here in the top right hand corner, click export and share, and it's going to give you a couple options. Number one, you can just save it to your computer, so it'll do a quick export like this. Or you can select the online option and it will upload it to YouTube for you and then you'd be able to share that YouTube link with your teacher. Okay, um, And that's all there is to it. So if you have any further questions, come see me in the library and I'll try to help you with your editing.